Marvel Live from San Diego Comic-Con 2014, brought to you by Dr. Pepper, always one of a kind. I'm Lorraine Sink, host and writer of Marvel's The Watcher, joined by... Uh, Marvel Beckham Air, Mark Strom, a.k.a. Stromy, with... Michael Rooker, a.k.a. Oh. Michael Rooker. Michael. A.k.a. Michael Rooker. <laughs> I forgot Let's... the other A, yeah. So, you just came out of your signing. I did. How was it? What was it like being with all of those fans and so many Guardian cosplayers? It's good. To, it's good to be out. Good. Out and yeah. about with the people. Yeah, it's good to be out and about, and, and we had a good time down there. Oh, you get, I think. Oh yeah. yeah okay. there we you hear go. me now? <laughs> Is that better? Okay. It's it, it was good. It's it's good to be up here with you guys. Perfect. It's a good view here. Look at this. Yeah, we have a great view down on the floor. There are so many people that have come to see you. Um, how how have been. How have the fans been about the movie premiering in just a couple days? You know what? They're getting ready. I mean, we just had the big uh, uh, premiere over on uh, uh, Hollywood Boulevard, and it was filled. Yeah. yeah. The entire block is filled. That's so oh, great. Yeah, we, what? Come on. I get, uh, Why do you not have one? I, I, we're laughed up. I'm, you know what? I'm taking my cue from you. Look, you don't have one. Here, if you were holding this, I would be holding mine. Okay, never mind. I'm, uh, I'm uh, stereo right now. Here we go. I'm ready. And now, you guys at home, you can interact with us by tweeting us right here on the Twitter box and just hashtag Marvel SDCC, and we'll have questions and all kinds of awesome things. So go ahead and send those to us. So you play Yondu in the movie. I do. And did you do some comic book research? I did. And, and uh, did you use that? And imbue that into your character. I did. I tried. <laughs> James Gunn told me, stop reading so many comics. Did, did you ever put up a fight to give Yondu his huge, full-on mohawk? Big old hawk. Well, once I saw the, uh, the the design of my ship, uh -huh. there was no way we could have done the, uh, the full-on thin mohawk thing. Uh, the ship is uh, way too, uh, too long. Oh. <laughs> the, in, the inside, I would have been having to walk around hunched over. No, uh, uh, what we ended up doing was uh, was really good. It worked out really well for me. Nice. Now, we already have people coming in with questions. We have Hernan Frank Rajic, I hope I said that right, who is asking, what was your favorite memory from the set that you can talk about? Lunch. Oh, I, I love really lunch. loved their lunches, and, and we had... Uh, 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 breakfast, a small meal for me in between my makeup. So I, within, uh, when I first arrive, we uh, do makeup for about three hours and I have a small a break and I have a meal and then I continue with wardrobe. And, and those are my, well, some of my most pleasant moments before all hell broke loose and they actually had all the actors on set and we were wild and crazy and having a great time. And speaking of actors on set, you have a yeah. lot of characters that aren't necessarily sitting there with you. You know, you have a raccoon who's teeny tiny, but isn't necessarily... Oh, he was oh, there. Oh, yeah, he was no, there. they found a real talking Oh, they talking found a raccoon. talking raccoon. No, 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 there was a real oh, raccoon. Oh, I had there. misinformation. Oh, you didn't know that. I didn't know that. Oh, no, there's a, the Rocky Raccoon was real. Yeah. God, he must have a hard time getting work. No? No, 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 no. that's all he wants to do. Just talking raccoon as he, himself work. All he is is Rocket Raccoon. He doesn't want to do anything else. So then that wasn't a challenge at all. That oh, no, no, like, no. It wasn't challenged at all. I mean, uh, and Groot, of course, he wasn't challenged either. Oh, no, no, not at all. Yeah, I mean, he, Groot, you saw Groot, right? Yep. He has to bend over a little bit. Yeah, it's harder yeah, for him yeah. to fit. For Groot, it's okay for him to go like that. For, for, um, for Yandu, it was not going to be good. It would be a little weird if a hard as nails mercenary was constantly walking around punched over. Oh, yeah. Um, so we've got a question from Desi Fisher, uh, which is, how many hours in the makeup chair did it take to get your Yandu look, and have you ever done anything that extensive before, I guess? Uh, I will. Uh, it took uh, about three and a half hours, then uh, another hour or two or two and a half for uh, a small break for a meal, as I said, and also uh, wardrobe. Right. And to get dressed. I'm curious, was it all uh, paint or were there any prosthetics that they had to put on? A lot of uh, some prosthetics for my, uh, my mohawk, uh -huh. uh, which was implanted, and um, we had to do all that prosthetic work before we started uh, in for the uh, bluing and the paint and all that. Did I'm curious because it isn't really explained in the film, but like, yep. do, do you or James have like a story for what that weird little like mohawk thing was? Uh, 
Oh, you saw it, right? Yeah. What'd you think it was? I, I kind of thought it was like some like some cybernetic thing grafted in there. If you if you notice, uh, I think there are lines in there that refer to uh, how um, uh, uh, some of the some of the characters have been manipulated in some ways. Mm -hmm. right. And I think that's uh, probably what was going on with uh, in Gunn's mind that was going on uh, throughout the piece. So uh, that's that was kind of interesting because it, it correlated with his. Uh, whistle and with the, uh, uh, all this other stuff that Yago yeah. got to do. You know, speaking of your whistle, I was wondering, are you just an amazing whistler? Yeah. I, I can whistle, yeah. Because, I, obviously... I don't know if I'd consider it amazing, but uh, it's, it's a very soft whistle. Was, was that your whistle actually in the film, or was yeah, that...? Yeah, that was my whistle uh, enhanced. Okay. Oh. Whistle, whistle plus. Because uh, uh, Gunn was trying to say, Louder whistle, louder Rooker. Uh, it just it wasn't it wasn't coming out louder. I have a very soft whistle. We we've got a question from uh, Comic Book Brothers, which is, are the Guardians really a holes in the movie? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the movie yet, but uh, you just make your own mind up when you see it. <laughs> uh, and the As Guardian Angel would like to know, what was your reaction when you got the role? Well, I, I, I thought to myself, well, I, I think I have about five more months of work. <laughs> it was really kind of nice and happy, and I got to work with my buddy James Gunn again. Uh, as you know, he, he tailored the role for me, and he called me up, told me so, and I was very happy, and then I realized that I was still on a show of my own, and I couldn't do the show, and so we were both disappointed, And and but lo and behold, uh, things worked out, and here I, here I am. I'm, I'm killed off in The Walking Dead, and, uh, and um, Marvel Heaven was my destination. Oh, Marvel Heaven, I love yes. that. Actually, we have a little gift for you. Yay! Now that you are part of the Marvel family, we have for you a Guardian's shirt. Uh, so I hope much. you will guard it I will like guard the galaxy. I, I, I will guard it as Yonder's been guarding the uh. galaxy since 1969. <laughs> <laughs> This, of course, is why we are actually selling these actually literally directly beneath us. This is not special in any way, then. No, well, it's, 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 it's exclusive to San Diego. Well, okay. So. Sure. Thanks. I'm sorry I took that away from you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hernan would like to know, love, first of all, they say, love from Argentina. Do you have any Yondu toys? Have you seen your face out there? I have a, um, a hero clicks. Uh, yeah, I have a few Yandu hero clicks. Oh. Uh, I, I don't know how to play the game yet, but I'm going to try to learn. <laughs> it's very hard. I, it looks it's difficult. Complicated. It, yeah. It's very complicated. Turn those little, little, the little things. I think it goes into a board, and you can click it that way, correct? No, you can click it by itself. The board you play on is actually like a map that you like move oh. the different and characters around on. I knew uh, the last Comic-Con that I was at, they actually had... A, a panel, not a panel, but a, a room where you could go and learn how to play the game. Yep, yeah. I missed that that um, that instruction, but uh, I'm going to learn how to play eventually. We, we've got a great question from uh, Richard Brady, which yes. is Guardians of the Galaxy has a great soundtrack. If Yandu had a theme song, what would it be? Well, you know what? I think Uga Chaka 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 Uga. <laughs> I think that song. It, I, I think Yondu really likes that song. Okay. You know, I, I um, and so um, yeah, I, I, you know, I've heard Star Lord play it, and Mr. Uh, Mr. Cool play it a lot in the ship and stuff as he was growing up, and I, I think I've uh, grown to like, I've grown to like it. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Well, where can fans find you online and uh, throughout the con? Well, I, uh, throughout the, cl uh, the throughout the con here, I'm moving around, and um, but online I'm Michael underscore Rooker. And there's uh, Michael uh, Rooker online. There's uh, several uh, online uh, videos you can you can find out and, and join some fan club and have a good time. Well, everybody, go see Guardians of the Galaxy in theaters on August 1st. Thank this you so Friday. much for joining us. Brought to you by Dr. Pepper, always one of a kind. You like Dr.